to your love reading for January. Uh, this is going to be for the 9th through the 15th. So let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Okay. 9th through the 15th. What is going on, Taurus? Might do this again during the end of the month. Might try to do it twice. I don't know. We'll see. See what's going on with you, Taurus, and this love. New vitality. You found this new vitality going on in love. Wow. It's like you got some kind of rainbow blessing coming at you, but you're feeling very, very happy about this. Okay, let's see what's going on. We're going to use these cards. Okay. Yeah. Feeling the passion. Something very passionate going on with, I don't even know if it's around you yet or just within you, um, just yet. Like, has this actually gotten out yet or is it still, I don't know, we'll find out. Daydreams and decisions coming out. Having a lot of daydreams and decisions about a situation, but going with the flow. So you feel like you're going with the flow at this time, but you're having a lot of daydreams and decisions. Hmm. And how's your person feeling over here or the, you know, what's going on with Taurus's person? They do not listen to their intuition. Oh boy. They're not listening. But yeah, you have this new vitality, but they're not listening to their intuition. They're not really wanting to rebuild whatever is going on over here. And this is why you're kind of, look at that detached. They're a little detached from you and not really wanting to rebuild. It's kind of crazy because even though the rebuild card is a tower, it kind of feels a little different though. And I think these cards do it on purpose. <laughs> because what it is, is it's kind of like we have this kind of fallout in its own way, but it feels like every time I'm wanting to rebuild, they're just kind of not listening to their intuition, not really carrying through, through what they, you know, I want them to do. It's kind of like, they kind of detach from me and kind of do what they want to do. So they're kind of like in the background. So it feels like you're finding this new vitality within yourself. We'll see if the new vitality is coming in, you know. I feel like it's in yourself. Not so much even in the relationship, but just in you, Taurus. Why? Is it just because you have the Wheel of Fortune coming with the flow? What is going on? Why is Taurus feeling this way? Giving and receiving to yourself or you're giving and receiving to yourself, keeping yourself stable, keeping yourself stabilized is red and red. I feel like you're kind of, they're kind of detached from you. They're just kind of doing their own thing over here, Taurus, and you're just keeping it out. Everything happy. Go lucky. Okay. Let's get some love cards over here. These little, these little ones first. So you're having your own daydreams and decisions, just kind of waiting for a wheel of fortune to come in as you're going through the flow and just giving and receiving the way you, you know, you give to them and they, you get back whatever you get back. I don't know. It's just kind of how I'm feeling. It almost feels a little lonely, Taurus. Clarify, please. The giving and receiving is kind of interesting. And you know what? Give me the wheel of fortune. That, that flow, because it's talking about a new cycle change as you're waiting for the flow. This is where you have trust, engagement, what the past life relationship worth waiting for. Wait, wait, hold on, stop. What? Okay, they're giving me way too many cards, but okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I asked to clarify on this card, right? And you're getting... Trust in the situation that you're calling to have faith. What? This is way more than I expected. Then it says, there could be an engagement later within your, in a commit, a higher commitment coming your way. Let's put it that way. This is the will of fortune, what you're waiting for. A past life relationship. You've known each other in the past, calling in a soulmate that's worth waiting for. So, What? Daydreaming, 
you're you're calling in a soulmate. You're like done with this. You're just like I'm do I'm done. I'm waiting for I'm worth wait I'm waiting for a soulmate. Okay, so clarify on the daydreams and decisions, please, for Taurus. Whoever this is for, guys. If this isn't for you, please watch your rising, your moon, right? Your rising or your moon. Right now, you're kind of healing, you're kind of healing family issues. You're kind of doing whatever. You've learned from the past mistakes within this situation. You're just making the effort, but it just feels like you're just making the effort until you're until this Wheel of Fortune comes in. Do you even know that Wheel of Fortune is coming in? What is going... I'm Now I'm kind of tripping out. You're calling in a soulmate. I don't even know. You're going with the flow. You know, Taurus, this is the craziest reading ever. Because you might just be... For some of you, you could be like, yeah, I'm daydreaming about this other person. Or just daydreaming all in itself. But as you're daydreaming, you're actually like... Your soul is actually like manifesting this other person. You might be daydreaming of making the effort with this person and trying to make all of this work. And instead, your soul's like, nope, I'm calling in somebody else because this isn't going to work. I don't think I've ever done a reading like this. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is like where your soul is talking and taking control of a situation. I mean, universe takes control. We know this, right? I tell you guys all the time, let go, go the flow, let the universe do its thing. But literally in this love reading, which I don't do super love reading like this uh, very often, but literally it's saying you, Taurus, are just doing your thing. You're just like, I want to heal this family issue. I want my person to stop being detached from me. I want them to come back. I'm tired of this. I really want to fix this with them. And your soul's over here going, no, no, not going to happen. Just keep going with the flow and do what you're doing, Taurus, because I have something better for you. That's literally what it is. That's kind of like when we get that there's something better for you card. <clears throat> From the angels. In fact, we could use angel messages. I wouldn't doubt that that isn't what's going to happen, right? Okay, so the giving and receiving. Wait, we didn't even get a card on that one. And then we have to go see what your person's thinking. That's a lot of cards. Like, I think you just took over the whole deck, Taurus. <laughs> The giving and receiving is the attraction. You still have attraction for your person. You are waiting for the reconciliation, the overall reconciliation from them, you know, just to bring it back together. You just want the togetherness because you still feel like you have chemistry with them. But then Spirit's like, nope, here it is again. Nope, I got new love for you. Stop worrying about it. Just keep, stop worrying about that. Okay. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not going to deny that they keep coming out. So it's like you're trying to build a new love relationship with them. And spirit is like, you, you just don't worry about it. I just keep hearing like, don't worry about that. You just do what you do. So on your person over here. They believe that they just deserve love. But they're saying they have some unrequited love. Oh, oh, really? Now it all makes sense. Why do they have unrequited love? So they like love you, but they don't love you. Okay, so they love you, but they're not in love with you. That's it, Taurus. That's why your soul's calling it in. They're saying you could try to fix this all you want. All that you want and try to make new love with them, but it's going to be hard to make love with them when they have unrequited love for you. So that means that they love you, Taurus, and they'll take care of you and do whatever you need to have done, but they're not in love with you. Wow. Ouch. That hurts, right? They have passion. They still have passion for you, but it doesn't mean that they're in love with you. And clarify on the detach. Some of you are married. That's messed up. Wow. Okay. 
And what are they detached for? If I know what they're detached for. I hope we have enough over here. We've pretty much taken them all off. What are they detached for? Oh. Letting their friends help them very soon. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> True love upside down. I don't even know if it's been playful. They're not that playful. You probably feel that too, Taurus. Do they not feel playful? They're more worried about their finances and their career. They're more worried about their money than they're worried about love. Wow, okay. Wow. Just like, boom. Okay, wow. So the new vitality is within yourself. This is... We have to finish this reading. <laughs> this already made me heartbroken for all the Tauruses. I feel you all. Okay, getting out the new cars of my son. It's like, thanks, son. Maybe you shouldn't have bought these for me. <laughs> oh. Maybe this is why I never do love readings like this. Because sometimes they're really, really good. And then sometimes they kind of break your own heart. So anyways, my son bought these for me for Christmas. He said, Mom, you need to do love readings. It'll help you help your auntie. Okay. Aaron. It shows that you've been nothing but a knight in shining armor, my friends. I don't care if you're male or female. You've been doing it all, showing it all. You know, if you're male, I open the door for you, you know, to get into the car. I take out your chair when we go out to dinner. I open the door for you when we leave the door. I hold the door open for you so that you can get through the door. I bring you flowers. I do what I'm supposed to do. And women, you do all the things that you're supposed to do. Right? There's chivalry. Your person sees that you have chivalry. And I think that for some reason, you have the chivalry and you have not seen it from them at all. <laughs> It's all making sense. It, these Wrapping these cards up just makes it all make sense. You have the chivalry for them, but you do not see them doing the same things for you. Worthiness. If, I, if I'm always doing something for you and I'm the pretty, you know, I'm your queen, I'm your, I'm your, Knight in shining armor, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do for you, but you don't do it back for me, then it's, where's the worthiness? So I think that it kind of like loses its place. And I think that it kind of loses its place for you, Taurus. You don't, can't feel like the inference you want to be. You don't feel like, you know, you have that Venus in you that, you know, I'm supposed to love and I do everything I'm supposed to do. And then I just feel empty. Where's that giving and receiving? See, that's word. That's word. That's what it is. You're getting someone who wants to give it back and receive. That's what the card is. Oh. That's it right there just showing that you are, that you are doing what Venus is supposed to do. But you're not getting it back. So now it just feels like with on top of the spirit over here, it's just like spirit's going to give you somebody who's going to make you feel like Venus. Give you back your worthness. You want to be Venus and you want a knight in shining armor help take it down. Like I said, I don't care if you're male or female. It doesn't matter. You want the give and the take. I give to you, but I would like to receive it back. This person over here doesn't really receive, you know, they, they may give a little. I'm not going to say they don't ever give. I think they do give a little bit. 
um, but I just don't think it's at the same rate. So there's the calling in the, the soulmate of the manifestation. Your soul is manifesting. It's calling in someone to give and receive to you. Look, you have the chemistry with the person that you're with now. There's attraction. Obviously, you're not going to date somebody you're not, you know, or marry or date or be with. Let's just put it this way. Be with anybody you're not attracted to, right? But this is saying that they're calling in, they're calling in that soulmate. Somebody who's going to give you the things that you're worth, Taurus. Someone who can love like you love. Maybe this person did it one time and they lost themselves. Maybe things got rough and it just, I don't know, they lost their way. or Maybe they're too worried about their own money. Maybe they're too busy, you know, worried about their friends or whatever. Too busy worried about something else, that's for sure, and not you. So let's see how they feel over here. How does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? Wow. Okay, that's how you do all that. They're going after their own life purpose their own life purpose, whatever the hell that is. I just heard somebody say that too. I was like, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <clears throat> you guys are killing me. I just swear you not. I just heard that. I was like, whatever the hell that is. You know, I thought I was already there. They're going after their own abundance, their own life purpose, their own finances, their own career, their own abundance. And I still hear in your head like, yeah, really? It's almost, look at that, love upside down. I really don't give a shit about love. I care about more about my abundance, my life purpose, my career, my finances. What kind of hell of immature, this person's lost in money. More worried about abundance of money than they are love. That's what the problem is. There's a little greed over here. More worried. They're more worried. Yeah. They don't want... This is crazy. You would think that this card would be right side up, right? You would think like, look, I'm trying to give to you and you're not giving back to me. Resolving issues. But it's actually saying, don't. Don't. Because I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of that. Give me my money. I'm sorry, you guys. There's somebody over here who's way more worried about their money and their career and all up in their head about worry of money than they are worried about love. It's like all they think about is money, money. Where's the money? What is that doing? I'm not making enough money. There needs to be money. I'm telling you. A yin and yang. And you know, this is supposed to be a soulmate card, but it's almost like the soulmate, you know, if you, if you were already with a soulmate, if this person is your soulmate, it's like soulmate connection done. Like they've broken the chains. They've broken that. And they're kind of all over the place within their thought. Look at that. Distorted masculine, they're all over the place. It's just all over the place. Their energy is everywhere. They're more worried about time, this, that, everything else except for love and what they should be worrying about. They're the love, the family, the this. And I'm not saying they're not worried about the family because I'm going to tell you right now, they're worried about the family, making sure that the family eats, does this, does that. Um, you know, has money. Pay the bills. I mean, so you're getting all of that abundance. But where's the love? That's great and all. I mean, those persons may worry way more about their stability on those areas than, yeah, than sexuality is upside down. You guys, some of you ain't even having sex normal. They're tending to their own garden. What the? Yeah, their own garden of money. I'm sorry, guys. It just seems like that's what's going on. They're more worried about some kind of career finance, um, something definitely is something else than it is. I mean, it does look like they have the abundance that they are taking care of what there needs to be taken care of. The, the bills are paid. This is done. That's done. The kids are fed. We all have clothes. We're all bathed. We're all pretty. Fine. There's, you know what? I think this person's problem is with most of you. More worried about their career, their money, and maybe in materialism. Is your person more worried about material? 
I'm starting to think because of the tending the garden over here. It's like, but I tend my garden. I make sure that everybody looks great. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that those, we all want all of those things, but when it gets in between the love, where's the snuggles? Where's the sex? Where's the, you see what I'm saying? The, where's the me feeling worthy? Where's the real passion? It's not there. Okay, guys. So it looks like your soul, I don't know. Are we allowed to do that? Are we allowed to see what you're calling in? I want to know. What are you calling in? What is Taurus calling in? Obviously, somebody who's more of a knight in shining armor who can give you the other things besides, you know. Look, you're going to get all the things here that this person's already giving you, plus the love that you're missing, right? I mean... Otherwise, your soul wouldn't just call in like that. Calling in your love. There it is. Night in shining armor. Night in shining armor. Be careful, though, Taurus. Okay. I did see this, though. At the perfect timing. Careful, careful, careful. Careful how that's done. Spirit, sometimes they make you have to leave one to gain the other. Otherwise, it could end up third-party situation. Careful. Careful. Careful, careful. Oh, my God. And, you guys, it could be literally Pisces, Cancer. Oh, those water signs. God, those water signs won't leave you guys alone. <clears throat> Always say, though, best thing for, you know. If you're not doing good with one water sign, try the other one. <laughs> A Taurus and the water signs, man. You know, but water is great. Water is great for Taurus. But I'm just saying, you know, if that cancer didn't do good, go after that Scorpio. Hello. Hello, Scorpio. Ooh, how about this? A beautiful, how about a beautiful Libra coming in? Whoop, whoop. Fast and furious. It could be within three weeks. It could be within three months. I got so much water over here, you guys. That new love on the horizon. This could be somebody you already know right now at this time, or it could be just definitely a brand new love, just like whoop, whoop. But it could literally be somebody who's already kind of in your energy. You don't even know. Who knows? It's a little bit different for everybody. You might even have an idea who it is that could be just like popping in. Hello, hello. But yeah, this definitely could be anywhere between two to four months for some of you. Two to four weeks, two to four months, not very far. But like I said, please be careful of that. Okay. And that's kind of like the forewarning there and getting an animal card for you. I don't want you to get stuck in something. Because it looks pretty hot. <clears throat> Could be Sagittarius, a water sign of any, of any water sign, or a... Ooh, an Aries or a Libra. That's what I got. So you got some compassion, some passion, and Libra and Taurus is pretty hot for air signs. That's the air sign I would want you to go for. I like the compatibility of the two. Um, be the gorilla. That is an interesting card for a Taurus. Be the gorilla. Okay, guys. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. So just remember, keep listening. It's not over yet, Taurus, right? You have to wait for the soulmate to come in for the universe to do that. So just keep listening. I know I know he or she is not listening very well and definitely not using their intuition. They're just like, a, and they may even have, if you're dealing with a male, you know, he's got this wall up, right? And he's definitely not listening. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on there. Take it how it resonates. Um, you guys know your story better than I, but it's somewhere on that area. And they seem to want to tend their own garden more than they want to tend yours. <laughs> that's for a lot of you. Not just some of you. I think that's a lot of you. Okay, and you got the spider. Oh, my God, you got the weirdest cards coming out. But that's okay. I love the messages. Trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Oh, I love that because most Tauruses do like writing, especially poetry, stuff like that. A lot of creativity. And look at that, guys. That's that vitality. Bringing in that vitality. And look at this. The ladybug just falling out right here. 
this is the time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Awesome. We're receiving and giving over there. Boom. Good luck on, on this journey, you guys. Um, oh, shit. Okay. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.